Hi everyone, and welcome to this introduction video to trigonometry. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the video, or you would like me to make another video about a topic of your choice, please leave those down in the comment section below. What we need to learn in trigonometry is the set of ratios that link together the sides of a right angled triangle. A right angled triangle will always be labelled with a right angle, like such. When discussing these right angled triangles, there will always be an angle that we need to focus on. We commonly label this angle with the Greek letter theta. Once the right angle and the angle that you would like to focus on has been labelled, we can then begin to label the three sides of the triangle. The side that is opposite the right angle, the longest side of our right angle triangle, is called the hypotenuse. The side that is opposite the angle that we're focused on is called the opposite side. And the remaining side, which is next to the angle that we're focused on, is called the adjacent. You might find that these three sides are shortened to these three letter abbreviations. And shortened even further, you might find these sides just represented by the capital letters at the beginning of their names. So for hypotenuse, we use capital H, adjacent capital A, and opposite capital O. As an example, let's label the three sides of this triangle. To begin with, we find the right angle, and the side opposite that is going to be the hypotenuse. We then look for the angle that we are particularly interested in. In this case, it is theta in the bottom left. The side opposite theta is called the opposite side. The remaining side, of course, next to the angle is going to be the adjacent. So whenever you get a question with a right angle triangle and one of the angles labeled, you're probably going to need to label your right angle triangle with the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. I recommend that you label all three of those sides before you begin the question. The three formula that you need to learn in order to use trigonometry are the sine, cosine, and tangent formulae. These are just ratios between the three sides of your right angle triangle. The ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse is sine of our angle in question. The full word of sine is spelt S-I-N-E, but we normally shorten that to just S-I-N. Whenever we're using one of these trigonometric ratios, I like to place brackets around the input, which is going to be always an angle. So on the left-hand side of this formula, we're always going to be doing sine of an angle. The next ratio is between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, and this is cosine of the angle. We normally shorten cosine to just cos. The final ratio is between the opposite side and the adjacent side. This is equal to tan of theta, or the full name is the tangent of theta. These three formula link together two sides of my right angle triangle and one of the angles that is not 90 degrees. So in a case where I know one angle and one side, it allows me to work out that remaining side. In the case that I know two sides, it allows me to work out an angle. And that is why these three formula are so important. I'm now going to replace these full length words with just the starting letter in order to make it a little bit more simple. And in writing it like this, there's a neat little mnemonic that I can use in order to remember the three formula. If you've seen these formula triangles before, then you'll know how to use them already. And that's what we're going to now place sine, cos, and tan, our three formula into in order to remember them better. If you don't know how these triangles work, I'll explain in one second. So for the first formula, I'm going to place sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, cos is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. To use these triangles, you cover up the one that you want to find. So for example, if you would like to find the hypotenuse in the first formula, you cover that one up, the other two letters tell you what to do. So we would do the opposite side divided by sine of the angle. For the middle triangle, if we wanted to find the adjacent side, we would need to do cosine of the angle multiplied by the hypotenuse. And now if we read out these triangles, we find that it spells so ka toa which is a nice little mnemonic, very easy to remember. so ka toa 
okay, and you'll get those three formula memorized. When we're using these formulae, we're going to need a calculator. To find sine, cos, and tan on your calculator, you should have three buttons with their names already on them. And when you press the sine button, it should output sine with an open bracket. What you're going to want to place inside of that bracket is always an angle. It's very important to remember within sine, cosine, and tangent, you can only place angles. Make sure to always close the bracket once you've typed in sine, cos, and tan, because your calculator is not going to know when that input's finished unless you close the bracket. And the final thing you should always make sure is that your calculator is set to degrees mode. There should always be a small capital D at the very top of your calculator screen if you are in fact in degrees mode. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you've made it all the way to the end. If you have any questions about the video, remember you can leave them down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.